I mean, we could talk all about your career, all about all the shit that you've done in your career, of which I know about a lot. That's pretty cool. But let's talk about what's going on right now. You, you've, you've got a little beef popping off of one of the biggest names of skateboarding. Yeah, it's uh, more his. Um, he has ownership okay. than me. But so what's it all about, and why is it all coming to the surface right now? Well, um, I run into this problem a lot, and um, I find I rub uh, friction people with power, you know, usually uh, real big people. And then if not them, a lot of times they're people's people, um, like some of the biggest. Um, and I think it's an energy exchange thing. And with Nija, it just built up, and these things just kept happening. And then I just decided to, like, say, transmute the energy to my benefit and just uh, kind of air it out and let it be whatever. So entertainment. where did the grievances start? Is, was he fucking with you when he was, like, first turned pro when he was, like, five years old? Was he, like, <laughs> messing with you back then, too? Or when no, did this start? No. There was There was a time when he, like, snaked me and Paul at uh, Tampa Pro, and I'm like, Come on, son, you gotta like get in line. <laughs> really? But that's nothing. When he was super young? Yeah, dreads, dreadhead. Grab that thing. Come right. here. <laughs> okay, so uh, when, but when did the animosity start? Uh, about a year ago. I only know that because I had wrote some letter uh, to Thrasher when I was gonna air him out before because it just kept repeating and I'm like not at a stage of violence or trying to take that course of action. Right. And um, it was like a year ago because I seen this letter d dated and he like um, at a party at his house, which was a goddamn Project X party. It was like a, a thousand people, hundreds of girls, and he told me to stop talking to like girls and creeping them out or something, which <laughs> talking to women is one of my art forms that I do very well. <laughs> do you think that you like offended any girl in particular or something? No, I think it was more like, I think honestly it comes down to more like simple like if, if I let my phone go, it falls every time, like certain laws and things, and I think that at this moment in time where he's at as a kid, he's 23, I'm fucking 33 now, I'm a grown man, and uh, he um, feels maybe a little smaller when I'm in the room, you know, and there's certain things, and I've, like, taken a certain path where I've stripped myself of certain belongings and material things, um, which I was willing to take that course, and some, maybe when you're young and you have a lot, it can, your head can question certain things, why you question yourself, why maybe someone else doesn't. So you think that when you're in the room, Naja feels a little bit of competition for, like, alpha male sta Just, status? Just, yeah, yeah, that, to, yes, to put it that way simply, yeah. Okay. Not like he knows his trophies are sit where they sit. You know what I mean? And I mean, it's interesting because he's kind of like you were kind of in the spot sort of that he's in right yeah. now of just being that super pro. Mm -hmm. Like you, you, you were in that phase. Do you feel like there's like, do you think he's sort of a, in a, a state of mind that you remember when you look at where he's at? Yeah, I was, uh, I was worse actually, I would say like in some ways, like some ways I was like really kind and whatever, but I also used to like uh, carry guns at his age and be like professional and be retarded and like pull them out. On you think the he carries a gun? No, no, no. I probably got a guy with a gun with him yeah, sometimes, right? Yeah, I got a guy with a gun. Once in a while? <laughs> yeah. If I was him and I had all that money and all them tricks, I probably wouldn't want to carry yeah. a gun either. You do a tray flip, the shit falls out of your pocket, hits the ground, yeah. shoots you in the thigh. And then uh, if it's a revolver. And then, um, if he had a revolver, that would be great. He fast forwarding, so he, he this night at that party, he, uh, he tried to like put his hand on me one point in time. He does this weird move, he grabs my shirt or whatever, mm. tries to pull it down, and I like batted away. I'm not gonna fight you, Nigel. And I sat down by this fucking girl, and he went to kick me in the head, and he kicked this fucking bird in the head, and she was fucking crying. And he, then, ki he kicked a, uh, a girl in yeah. the head by accident? Yeah, by accident. It's his friend. Nothing's going to come of it. Sorry, he doesn't like that I air that out. But yes, that's true. He kicked this fucking bitch in the head. By accident. By Boom. accident. Trying to kick me in the head. So he's not no woman beater. Um, okay. I would never put anything wrong on someone. But so has anything else happened between you and then guys between since then? then, over the years, he just like... Uh, just numerous occasions he'd come up to me try to do something in a club and i just turn cheek policy and then the other day at um liaison he was like spending it was after x games and he was like he told them either he goes or i go and they're like and he's like, i'm spending right now you know and they right. told me and i'm like i like them and i'm like you know fucking i'll be out you guys get your money kid wants to give you his money take it wow but he really didn't want you around to that yeah that like level, to that huh? level he couldn't i think just went a little there we go it was like he, he, we couldn't be in the same room. And I seen him when I was in there, and I seen him, like, stiffen up. You know, he was, like, stiff. And, and, and right when he caught my presence. And then, and then sure enough, when they came to get me, I already knew what it was going to be, you know. And that was a point when I was, like, made a decision, like, well, okay, 
like uh, there's no reason to be actual violent, but or whatever. But I'm not going to let this person constrict my range of motion. You know, right. where I have right to be. Well, you're kind of a, a consistent presence in the Hollywood club scene. Yeah, go out a bit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, you've been uh, you've been on it for a long time. A lot of people in skateboarding got that story about how like they used to be all about going out to the clubs, and now they don't do it anymore. Mm-hmm. Like Muska, you watch him on Epic later. He's telling that story. You're still in there. Yeah, I'm in the mix. You're definitely in the mix. So yeah, I need my freedom of motion. <laughs> and then I, uh, and then this is the end of that. But and then I, um, so I'm like, what the fuck? And then it just came to me, and I did this one little video, and it went up. And then I did another video saying, uh, fucking Niger challenge, and I gave him a fucking 30 day fucking you accept in a few days, and then 30 days we'll do a fucking uh, myathlon, and we we'll call it niathlon if you win, where we do a three part, we do a fucking game of skate. A battle of the wits, which is like a roast, which would be fun. Right, not a rap battle. No, just okay. like a, just like comedy, like wits, something, some kind of battle of the wits. The Joneses. Yeah, whatever. Where you're just sort of dissing each other. Yeah, back yeah, and something, forth. something, but something where it's it's mind oriented, and right. then and then the third part to our triathlon is a fucking uh, a boxing match because right. he kept trying to fight me anyway, so I figured I might as well have that. So what do you think the odds are of him uh, consenting to this arra- well, arrangement? He hasn't yet, but now, now that we're putting fucking gas on the flame, who knows? Right. <laughs> But okay, so let's start with the fight thing. Like I I'm, I'm going to be honest. He seems like he's in the gym. He seems oh, like yeah. he's on his, his peak physical condition. You on the other hand, again, you're in the Hollywood club yeah. scene. Got a party cough. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that you're necessarily like, you know, in the gym or anything. You might be. You could tell me that. No, no. No. So f- in terms of sheer physicality, I feel like he might have an advantage. How do you feel about that? Well, yeah, there's a there's like a that, that's a layered onion. Um, yeah, one, also I think he's like just in a certain champion mind frame where he couldn't, his, uh, his pride would be bothered too much by the loss that he would just right. come back relentlessly and I would be able to be like, uh, that's enough, you know what I mean? I feel like he would, he, he would find a way to win. He would go no matter what, but I'd be like, yeah, I'm fine, I've seen enough. Okay. But also, the game of skate, I see, I figure the way it would go is, the game of skate for sure, uh, that's why I have a little month, I'll, you know, practice a little bit before then, but I have a certain trick vocabulary that is uh different than his and i can beat him at the game escape battle of the wits he doesn't really do too much work up here you don't think he's smart uh, no he's definitely smart but he's uh, being witty and like sharp and present is a different art form and that's like being able to not like think about what you're going to say and be able to tune into people and energies and do that's, that that's the part of this whole thing i would like to see the most is the 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 roast battle just really? sort of on that's stage. Really? That's cool. You're the, you're the yeah, first. Yeah, because, you know, that's the kind of thing where you really just get to see what somebody's made of. Is and, the, yeah, is their, they pour their, their fucking... Skills. And pour their fucking how they feel out, you know? Yeah. And I would like to see, like, what his main grievances were with you. I feel like a podcast should be part of this. It should, the grievances should be done on air. I'm here. You're here. He might have, you know, a security guard just to make sure you don't pull out a shank or something. But then we could just sort of do a podcast. uh, And then at the end of it, maybe we could even do an official vote. Find out who who uh, when, who, when who won the battle of the wits. Yeah, because that's a second. That's our two of three right there. I think that would be dope. And then I mean, shit, you might not even have to fucking do well, the fight. The I fight, think the you know. boxing the thing about the boxing thing is, I think even with me saying this, he he would be if I win the skate and then won the wits, he would be so worked up and mad by the boxing match that his sheer anger and whatever would overtake his uh, his ability to be. Calm and uh, see, I feel calculated. like if he's smart, he's probably not going to want to take part in a in a duel unless there's like proper forms and paperwork and stuff. Because you know he's got a lot of money in the bank. Like it could be an obvious lawsuit thing. Well, we can. We do, can get some we paperwork. Can paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> we can headgear. No boxing gloves at least for sure. Okay. I don't know about headgear. Well, again, with the game of skate, though, I mean, he's one of the top guys out of there right now. Yeah, but now. flat ground is different, Adam. Flat ground is your fundamentals. Right. Flat ground is a totally different thing. But you don't and think I that he's pretty, pretty on top there. of that either? He's he's very good, but but there's still stuff I've done uh, 10 years ago that he can't do today. So you're going to bust out some stuff that like he's probably never even heard of. Just like whatever. I've switched tray flip uh, 12 stair 10 years ago. It's a certain complexity, a certain thing where he can do the trick, but whatever. That's I can... Do it, make it go 540 and 180 with it and do these other stuff that is, isn't really up his sleeve. Right. And if I chisel away that fucking iceberg for a month, I'll be prepared for this cocksucker. I'll be ready for that. I'd like to see you like, just grinding it <laughs> that's out. That's the first time I called him a name. I'm sorry. I don't oh, think cocksucker. you're a cocksucker. Yeah. I actually like you. Okay, see, that's an interesting <laughs> question, though. Is like, aside from the fact that he doesn't like you, do you dislike him? No, I approve of him. You know what I said about him... Uh, him winning all the contests, for anyone who doesn't know, he's this guy that pretty much wins all the contests in skateboarding. I told, like, Paul, 
I told um, Papar Rodriguez, this guy, um, Tori Pudwill, and Shane O'Neill, who are all other tops, I was like, you guys are, you're putting energy into him on a level where it's like, when he goes and shows up, he just thinks, I got to um, not have a bad day. Mm. And they're thinking, I got to beat Nigel. And so it's all these people with, you know, you know, powerful energy receptors and funnel and use a lot of their energy and they're, they're pouring it into him unconsciously in those moments, thinking I gotta beat Nigel. And I tell them that, and then I also tell Nigel, like, you're our Mayweather, keep winning. I've told him this shit like a year ago. I totally support him and, and wish the best for him. I just, he just kept bringing an energy to my doorstep that I just, in my brain, it was just, well, that, well I guess I can use that. You're gonna what keep you giving th- it to me. What it's do you think he doesn't like about you? Well, part of it is, uh, I guess I'm going to leave this other person I was going to mention out, but um, but there's someone like him at a certain caliber from brands that I've been dealing with for a long time, and he felt away for a little bit, and I think it's part of it is the lifestyles that we live. Um, we live the same lifestyle. You know, we get to do stuff that, like, billionaires fucking do, you know, and, and around babes a certain way that's, like, very abnormal, and um, I think that how hard he has to work at this moment in time to maintain and to do that stuff, something inside him, it bothers him because he knows he sees me just fucking with my, pretty much my feet up every day. I'm just kind of go with the flow right now, you know? Right. And, you think uh, he's challenged by that? If it seems th- like he's sort of like out there just still grinding. And well, like, he is grinding, but I think it maybe it, it bothers him that we can then at the end of the day, we can do the same things and we live the same way. And it's kind of like, what? And then also just to pure being a man and when you're not a man you know men but, can bother you no, but he's like probably making millions of dollars a year he's you, definitely are, got liquid mills like are, he shouldn't are, yeah. be worried about me at all but are you saying that you you're making like a million dollars a year or like what, how are you living I the have. same lifestyle oh just when we go out when we what we do at night with the lives the things that we we both you can go to a grammy the same party places. we both can go okay. to the same place we both get to fucking you know do the same shit and at this point he lives the way i live we don't have to Really spend money to do that. It's just uh, you're 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 welcome to do that. You know. Right. Well, shit. Let 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 Jeremy Rogers party. That's all I gotta say. <laughs> I'm just chilling with Adam. Huh? Yeah, I'm just chilling with Adam. Huh? I'm just chilling with Adam. Huh? Look, that's the host of Adam. Huh? I'm just chilling with. <laughs>